Coach Day, you know, started reading off everything that, that came with the block hoe, um, and then my name followed that. It was, it was very surreal. Um, it was, you know, a moment where everything kind of made sense. When you win the block hoe award in, or, in honor of Bill Willis, you are the epitome of toughness, accountability, and fight. These are all the traits Bill Willis exemplified throughout his life. No, not only as one of Ohio State's all-time great athletes, but he's also considered the first African-American starter in the professional football. Bill Willis was everything a Buckeye is meant to be. And now, this generation can carry on his legacy. He was number 99, but now it goes all the way to, to zero. Started first with uh, Jonathan Cooper and Thayer Munford, those kind of being older guys that I looked up to and seeing how their legacy kind of played and what they did on and off the field. Because when you look at that block O, you see that it represents kind of this culture, this university, and everything that Ohio State stands for. The number zero is a badge of honor. It represents fight, the backbone of our culture. It also represents toughness and accountability, a blue collar personality which correlates with the program, the University of the State of Ohio. Each year, the number zero will be given to the player that best displays these qualities. It's an honor to see not only that I get to wear it, but then having a DX and knowing kind of what that means to him starting out as a walk-on and working his way, going through ups and downs, all the struggles that he's gone through, not only on the field, but off the field. I grew up in Cincinnati, um, so I was always an Ohio State fan, but never really saw myself coming to Ohio State because of some lack of self-confidence. My journey, I started as a, as a walk-on, coming in, wanting to take the world by storm. Um, when stuff didn't go exactly my way, there was a lot of Long nights, a lot of nights where I was questioning if I made the right decision. Ultimately, um, led, leaned, leaned on my faith, uh, my faith and, and my family um, to being the things that kept me in every moment um, and, and allowed me to reach in that, that feat of uh, being named a Blanco was something that was extremely um, meaningful and was in a very powerful, very emotional moment. 2023 Captain and Bill Willis Award winner, Samuel Johnson! Yeah! Everything that I felt that the, the Lord led me to Ohio State um, for a reason, um, and I knew that He was going to use my story um, in way, one way or another. In that moment, um, I was overcome with emotion. Um, I got up and was, was trying to articulate everything that was on my on my brain, but couldn't uh, quite get everything out. I was just, you know, overcome with with gratitude with the Lord and with my family. For me to receive such a, an honor was really something that that filled my heart with joy. X Men, you already know what it is, bro. Uh, we've had all the conversations. It doesn't really need to be said on camera. Um, but man, I'm super proud of you, bro. Um, like we said, I know Jesus Christ, bro. Uh, from the time we brought the team to to get baptized together, and um, again, all those times when you know you've been at your lows and you've been at your highs, man. Um, just keep hanging on, keep doing what you're doing, bro. And like like we always say, man, we know Jesus Christ is for His glory and His glory alone. So. Uh, my message to you, bro, is continue to do what you're doing. Show the world um, who Jesus Christ is, man. And um, as they look at you, man, I just pray that they'll be able to see him. So I can't wait to see the hope that you bring so many people. Um, and man, I'm excited to watch, bro. Love you, dog. I want to publicly uh, thank my family. A lot of times, the person who is getting all the accolades receives all the, the honor and everything. but. At the end of the day, um, I wouldn't be who I was um, without my, my village um, that raised me. Um, and they raised me and they instilled in me the values that I hold so dearly to my heart today. Um, the value of hard work, the value of, of faith, first and foremost. Um, the value of loving, being kind, all these different things that I feel very blessed to have learned at a young age. They, they weren't just uh, told to me, but they were shown to me through action. So for me to go ahead and, and receive all this accolades and all this attention without um, thanking my family, I would be remiss. So um, to my parents, um, thank you so much. You guys are my why. It's all you guys hard work. Um, and that's kind of what, what drove me in the hard days. Um, my sister, you got me out of bed more than you could think. Um, and so my brothers, I love you guys. And I want to just continue to honor uh, the Johnson name and our family. So love you guys. <laughs>